What evil people do when they get exposed? When someone you know is behaving in an unethical or malevolent manner, it can be unsettling. Here are eight things that individuals with malicious intent might do. When they are aware that you have recognized their behavior. 1. Gaslighting. Evil individuals may attempt to make you doubt your perceptions, feelings, or memories. They'll try to convince you that you're the one who is wrong or crazy. 2. Blame shifting. They might shift the blame onto others, including you, to avoid taking responsibility for their actions. They'll try to divert attention away from their wrongdoing. 3. Defensiveness. Evil individuals may become extremely defensive and react aggressively when confronted. They might accuse you of being too sensitive or trying to destroy their reputation. 4. Manipulation. They could use manipulation tactics to maintain control over the situation or your perception of them. This could involve using guilt, flattery, or other emotional manipulation techniques. 5. Isolation. Some malicious individuals may attempt to isolate you from friends and family who might help you see through their deceit. This could be done through various means, including creating divisions or spreading lies about others. 6. Threats. In more extreme cases, evil individuals may resort to threats or intimidation to keep you from exposing their true nature. This could involve threats to your safety or well-being. 7. Silent treatment. They might employ the silent treatment as a form of punishment or manipulation. This tactic is used to control and distress the person who has uncovered their true character. 8. Playing the victim. Evil individuals may reverse the roles and portray themselves as the victim in the situation. They may try to gain sympathy and support from others by painting you as the aggressor. It's important to remember that not everyone who exhibits these behaviors is inherently evil. Some might have personal issues, insecurities, or mental health problems that lead to such behavior. However, recognizing these tactics can help you protect yourself and make informed decisions about how to respond when dealing with such individuals. In some cases, seeking support from professionals or authorities may be necessary to address the situation appropriately. If you suspect someone is behaving unethically or malevolently, it's important to approach the situation carefully and thoughtfully. Here are some steps to consider. 1. Trust your instincts. Trust your gut feeling. If you sense that someone's behavior is unethical or malevolent, don't ignore it. 2. Gather evidence. Before making any accusations or confronting the person, collect evidence to support your suspicions. This might include emails, text messages, witness accounts, or any other documentation that can corroborate your concerns. 3. Talk to the person. If you feel safe doing so, have a calm and private conversation with the individual. Express your concerns and observations without making accusations. Use I statements to describe your feelings and perceptions, such as, I have noticed, or, I feel uncomfortable when. 4. Set boundaries. Clearly communicate your boundaries and expectations regarding their behavior. Let them know what is acceptable and unacceptable. 5. Involve trusted others. If the situation doesn't improve or if you're concerned for your safety. Consider involving a trusted friend, family member, or supervisor who can offer support and advice. Sometimes, an objective perspective can be helpful. 6. Document everything. Continue to document any relevant incidents, conversations, or actions. This documentation can be valuable if you need to involve authorities or take legal action. 7. Seek professional help. If the behavior persists and is causing harm or distress, consider seeking advice from a counselor, therapist, or mediator who can help you navigate the situation. 8. Report to authorities. If the unethical or malevolent behavior involves illegal activities or poses a serious threat, report it to the appropriate authorities. This may include contacting the police, a human resources department, or a legal professional. 9. Protect yourself. Ensure your own safety and well-being. If you feel threatened or unsafe, take steps to protect yourself, including seeking a restraining order if necessary. 10. Consider cutting ties. 
In some cases, it may be necessary to distance yourself from the individual if the situation doesn't improve, and it continues to negatively affect your life. This could include ending the relationship, changing jobs, or seeking a new living situation. It's important to exercise caution and not jump to conclusions without evidence. Addressing unethical or malevolent behavior should be done thoughtfully and responsibly. Seek support from trusted individuals and professionals when necessary to help you navigate the situation effectively and safely. If you found value so far in this video please give it a thumbs up, like and subscribe to support this channel, it will be appreciated. Please share across social media platforms to reach a wider audience. Protecting oneself from malicious individuals involves being aware of potential signs of malicious behavior and taking steps to establish personal boundaries and security. Here are some key points to consider. Signs of malicious behavior. 1. Deception. Malicious individuals often engage in lying, manipulation, or deceit to achieve their goals or harm others. They may create false narratives or provide misleading information. 2. Lack of empathy. A lack of empathy is a common trait in malicious individuals. They may not show concern for the feelings or well-being of others and might even take pleasure in causing harm. 3. Exploitation. Malicious individuals may exploit others for personal gain, often without regard for the consequences their actions have on those they exploit. 4. Controlling behavior. They may try to exert control over others, whether through emotional manipulation, threats, or other means. This control can be directed toward individuals or groups. 5. Isolation. Malicious individuals may attempt to isolate their victims from friends and family as a means of maintaining control and preventing outside influence. 6. Aggression or violence. In some cases, malicious individuals may resort to physical or verbal aggression, threats, or acts of violence to intimidate or harm others. 7. Inconsistent behavior. Their behavior may be erratic or inconsistent, making it difficult to predict how they will act in different situations. 8. A history of harmful acts. Recognizing a pattern of harmful behavior, such as a history of manipulation, abuse, or criminal acts, can be a strong indicator of malicious intent. Ways to protect yourself. 1. Trust your instincts. If something doesn't feel right or you sense that someone may be malicious, trust your gut feelings. Don't ignore your intuition. 2. Establish boundaries. Set clear boundaries with others and communicate your limits. This helps deter potential malicious individuals from overstepping. 3. Guard personal information. Be cautious about sharing personal information, both online and offline. Malicious individuals may exploit personal information for harm. 4. Maintain a support system. Build a support network of friends and family who can offer emotional and practical assistance if needed. 5. Self-defense training. Consider self-defense training or classes to enhance your physical safety and confidence. 6. Document incident. If you encounter malicious behavior, document incidents, save communications, and keep records. This documentation can be valuable if legal action becomes necessary. 7. Report concerns. If you believe someone poses a serious threat or is engaging in illegal activities, report your concerns to the appropriate authorities or a trusted supervisor. 8. Educate yourself. Learn about common manipulation tactics and how to recognize signs of malicious behavior. Understanding these dynamics can help you protect yourself. 9. Self-care. Prioritize self-care and mental well-being to build resilience and cope with any emotional challenges that may arise when dealing with malicious individuals. 10. Seek professional help. If you are dealing with a malicious individual who poses a significant threat, Seek guidance and support from professionals, such as therapists, counselors, or law enforcement. Remember that it's important to approach these situations with caution and sensitivity. And always prioritize your safety and well-being when dealing with potentially malicious individuals. If you enjoy this video please give it a thumbs up, like and subscribe to our channel for more self-improvement videos.
Comment below to tell us how useful you found this video. Don't forget to share on various social media platforms to reach a wider audience. Click the notification bell to get notified anytime we post a new video. Thanks for watching, see you in the next video.